in this video we will discuss uh, what is multiple regression. So, again the same uh, regression uh, can be uh, classified into simple or multiple, we will talk about multiple here. Uh, to uh, tell you that multiple regression means it has one uh, dependent variable and multiple independent variable. So, which means there are two um, so independent variable and one dependent variable that is the final marks. Uh, this data we have seen uh, previously multiple times you know examples. So, I am using same example so that we know how the same example can be used for different models, how it is be uh, how different models predicts the score in a different way. We can compare that also. So, in attendance and midterm we already plotted this, uh, now we want to predict uh, by using this uh, what is the final marks out of 100, which we cannot show it in the, this simple plot you know in a two dimensional plot we cannot show that here. Okay, the data and the plot is not matching, but consider this is the plot. Okay. Uh, we cannot uh, show the uh, final marks in it, maybe you can do for each uh, each data say there is a data of um, say 45 percentage or 40 percent and uh, 80 percent in meter marks, you might able to plot what will be the mark uh, something like that maybe a 70 or 80 you can write the marks on top of it. That might be good for classification algorithm not for regression algorithm. Let us see how it be used for regression algorithm. Y predict uh, is equal to uh, 31.45 plus 0.4 x1 and 0.2 x2 that is the linear regression model for the uh, data we gave. Uh, attendance is uh, in percentage and uh, midterm marks is here is x2. So, the first variable is attendance in percentage and uh, second variable is midterm marks. And uh, r equal to uh, 0.85 r square is equal to 0.72. Uh, if you remember the correlation coefficient r uh, that is what computed here the r square is this, but it is not the correlation coefficient like we did with one variable and uh, one x and one y instead this is uh, with the two variables. So, that is called regression uh, coefficient. Okay. Let us see that if it is 0 it means no relationship between the uh, variables x 1 and x 2 to y if this near to 1 or uh, 1 is a perfect relationship perfect linear fit between x1 and x2 to y near to 1 is good okay so it is good so i plotted this linear regression in excel sheet using uh, data analysis tool and uh, here it uh, considers only the midterm marks uh, to predict the final map score final marks in the out of 100 and predicted value and the final uh, actual marks you know this is a predicted value this is the actual marks is a predicted value the fit is kind of ok. If you consider only the attendance the fit is again it is good it is not very bad. So, individually each uh, variable is doing good and we have seen that this variable has high correlation we discussed that in one of our correlation matrix video right we know about that. So, this is good. Okay. So, these two variables are correlated and they also fit best with the uh, final marks out of 100. So, what, what that means in multiple regression is suppose you have this particular uh, you have this particular uh, prediction value that is the linear model learned from this 6, 7 data right and uh, you want to predict the future uh, marks you can use this model to predict it. Let us see what is this uh, predictive model do for the given data that is on the training set itself. Uh, for predicting a student 1 data I would add 31.45 plus 0.4 into x1 is 56 and 0.22 uh, into x2, 0.22 into x2 is 45, 0.22 into x2 is 45. If you compute this the mark will be 63.75. The final mark is uh, the actual mark is 70, the predicted mark is 65. Uh, so, the, the error is 63.75 minus 70 into square that is the error. And if you compute the error like that for all these values um, and average of that error is the least mean square error value. Uh, so, then uh, we select the best fit model. Okay. So, this is how it is computed. Let us see how it works for if I compute that for all the models the answer is like this. So, this value is a bit different you know 63.75284 it is because I ignored the values uh, beyond the 2 decimal uh, point right. So, the system computes all the values and this is the correct result. 
So, yeah, so this says that this is best fit for some of the data for example, student number 4 it is good and also student number 6 is good, but others it is not so, uh, so great or um, so perfect. But that is fine, this is the model we get it best fit model. Now, using this model uh, if uh, it is very interesting that if you want to predict, um, if you want to predict uh, some student you have no idea what the student is, the student has say uh, 75 percentage attendance also he scored midterm marks say 50 ok, something like that. So, what will be that student's um, uh, performance? So, consider this data you got it this particular data right this this particular data this old table you know consider this old table kind of this old table data this old table data you got it from um, say this table you got it from um, uh, historical data for last year last two years data kind of like 100 data you have or 200 students data and you created this model. And uh, this is the student one in a current semester ok. So, if the student one this is a student one in a current semester yes attendance and uh, midterm marks. Now, do you, you want to predict what will be the students uh, final score in the exam. So, you apply this model. So, the, the students final score in exam y predict equal to 31.45 plus uh, 0 0.40 into 75 percentage that is um, you can use 75 as it is and uh, plus and uh, 0.22 into 50 meter marks. Why I asked you to use as it is maybe the system would have used as it is. So, I used actually the same mark I did not put the convert that into a uh, like a 75 points on for something like that anyway. So, this is the mark if you compute this, this is a mark the student want to get it. You know in a current situation uh, we may uh, see that lot of uh, institutions, campuses or universities are cancelling the uh, NSM exams. The better way to do it uh, let us take the students, the current students who are in the class fourth year, third year or the previous historical data on particular course. Take all this data and compute is there any fit uh, by computing the midterm marks or term 1 marks and attendance or any other variable you can collect. Create a model and make that model is uh, high very accurate, high precisely doing it, then apply that model to predict the score that will be a better way to do it. However, um, given the current scenario uh, things are not that way, nah? things are computed just based on 80 percent marks in last year's a score or uh, some university goes by midterm marks some value or the students performance still meets them. Students performance still meets them is still good you know why because that actually proved uh, if you compute the last two 5 years data or something the midterm mark is actually co highly correlated with the answer marks. So, yeah, but this should be the right method to do. Uh, if you are interested, if you have a data access to the data, you can go and take the data of last 5 years students data and compute the current students data and see how it works. You know, then you may not have the actual value that is fine, but you can predict it as much as good. Okay. It is interesting that we saw uh, in a simple linear regression also the uh, in multiple regression, thus intercept like 31.45 in this equation or uh, the some other values in the previous equation. What is this intercept means? What is the significance of this 31.45? What is this intercept? Uh, take a moment you know this intercept is the line extended towards the 0 in x value that is the where it is crossing in a y scale that is a value good, but what is that means? Take a moment think about it uh, write down the answer after writing it down resume the video to continue. So, intercept means with no values of x1 and x2, okay, y will predict the intercept score. The y actually gives the if x1 is uh, no value 0, x2 is equal to 0. So, what are the intercept plus that value is what given in the y. Mean value of y with all independent values set to 0 is actually the intercept value. Okay, if you have to compute it, that is how you have to do it. And uh, it can be positive or negative ok that is very very important. Uh, uh, so, it is very very important it can be positive. Do not try to interpret the meaning of the intercept that is not correct 
ok. This intercept is very very important for linear regression to create a best fit model you know, but there is no meaning to it. Do not try to identify the meaning of intercept, some model with a better intercept no not really true. Uh, in educational settings if the student is not attending the class also it got 0 mark in the mid sem, he not attend the class, what will be the final score? So, uh, institute may not even allow the student to write exam, the final score will be 0, but the model might say 34 marks, it is not correct. If we allow the student to do that he might get the 31 marks, we do not know. Or some cases you know some particular example there is a possibility that uh, a person may not even come to work at all and a person may not um, able to uh, uh, perform the duty, still he might get a, some basic uh, minimum wage you know uh, as per the norms or something like that. That kind of that is a minimum wage anyone can, can get it even if you work, do not work that can be an intercept. But do not try to uh, interpret the meaning of this intercept that is the idea ok. So, maybe if the x values cannot be 0 like mid sims and items cannot be 0 then uh, do not even try to interpret. So, in educational settings do not do try to do that. Most important thing in uh, linear regression or, uh, or uh, simple regression or multiple regression is um, the most important thing is uh, y uh, is um, say c plus x1 w1 x2 w2. So, now you thought uh, I said do not interpret the meaning of uh, c, what is w1 and what is w2, what is the significance of w1 and w2. Um, keeping the other value constant, consider the x2 is same ok, keeping the other value constant. How much the x1 has relationship with y is defined in the y w 1. I said uh, in the last video uh, what is the advantage of using uh, li linear regression or regression model is to uh, create the indicator of the each variable with the y that is called the indicator right. If you keep all other variable values constant except that variable x 1 all other suppose x 2, x 3, x 4 all other variable keep constant this particular uh, relationship or relationship between x1 and y is given in this weight. Similarly, if you keep all other things constant except w2, the relationship between x2 and y is given in the weight w2. That is how the relation varies. If it varies by 1, uh, this will vary by say if it is 0.8, if it is 100, this will be 80, something like that. Okay? Uh, the you can interpret the meaning of the weights not c in this indicates how strongly this particular variable is correlated with the y keeping all other variables constant ok that is the linear regression. Thank you.